Good evening. My name is Ken McDermott, and I also live on that island. It's my home. It's that quiet there. When you walk over my doorstep, I can hear myself breathe. I want it kept that way. I do not want to see the gates uh, closed off. It is a navigational channel. People could die in Western Mushroom Harbor or Eastern Mushroom Harbor. I hope you're willing to live with that. The whale. Um, uh, uh, contraception from what I've been seeing on the computer is not just in Ontario, it's everywhere. And they're having trouble with it. Also, you're talking about putting drugs into these animals. And uh, where does their poo-poo go? That floats, so that goes everywhere. And where do the drugs go? After they've been used up, are they crap out into the water and pollute? We don't know these things. Nobody does. You're saying this is one of the very first things. My answer to this right here tonight is no, no concessions, no. Thank you very much. what happens to antibiotics and drugs. Okay, what, what happens to wait, it? Wait, they wait. become metabolized in the body and a it's small gonna, residue, gonna, are you going to listen to me? Yeah, let a small talk. residue yes. comes out through the poop. Like when you take drugs or medicine and you do what you have to do, that goes into the water too. And there's a lot more of that going into the water that what could ever be coming out of eight whales. There is a dilution effect in the ocean. There is no trace that eight whales could ever uh, have a measurable impact on the environment. I know that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keep to the timeline, we don't want to get out of hand. I'm going to take the mic off because I'm a little taller than everybody else that was here. Uh, my name is Adam Walters. Most of you don't know me. The folks in Mushroom will probably know. And if you don't know me, you know my parents, uh, Mike and Andrew Walters. We've owned a piece of property on Mount Gash Island for the past, for hundreds of years. And that piece of property is 435 meters from the gates. As you probably know, as you've seen, the gates on the backside of Malagash Island are pristine. They're untouched by man. They're an unspoiled patch of paradise. They're a sanctuary to this community, and as a sanctuary, we're not willing to give up. I'm gonna give you a little geography lesson, because from reading your interviews, you clearly, it's not your strong suit. The gates are not in Sheen Harbor. The gates are in Mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom mitigated and ignored in the media. You have significant. You have significant support in Sheet Harbor, but you do not have significant support in Mushroom. You have a strong opposition that is willing to do anything to keep you out, legal or otherwise. It is true. Are you willing to pen? on sport from 15 kilometers away when you have people that have strong opposition within meters of your operation. People who know every square inch of those islands. Because if you think that we're going to let you come into our home and destroy our island and our way of life, you're out of your mind. Questions? No, they did. 
they didn't. No, they didn't. Let her finish. Oh, they have not. Go to the mic if you want to. Some make. people, they have answered the questions. You guys just aren't buying the answers. That's it. I'm sorry. I am for the whale sanctuary. We use it a lot. We use that through the gates. We use that space a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been to just about every. Let her start, Go ahead, Ken. I've been to just about every one of your presentations, so I feel pretty knowledgeable. Uh, to me, you've answered every question possible, but I can't imagine. I know every, there's a bunch of people that are hollering about, no, 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 this is this bad, bad, bad. We're talking eight belugas in an area. And the, the compromise of having that winter and summer thing, to me, is a great compromise. And still, people are just so dug in and so against, you know, they want to be able to come to their cottage a couple times a year and enjoy, or whatever. They've lived there all their lives. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Let her live. Well, okay, I can see the gates from where I live. Good for you. I live there, and I don't want any waves. I know, it's so horrible. The thing ate the whales and caused so much anger and so afraid. Like, what is everybody afraid of? And what are you afraid of economic activity? Are you, are you afraid of this community getting ahead? Are you not worried at all about the hospital being closed? Are you worried about the hospital being closed?